Okay, I gathered it all up and my thread didn't break, so I was in good shape there. So um, what I did is I um, took my gathers and I gathered all the way to um, right where um, I stopped sewing on my regular stitch. Well, about one, two inches because I want this to be um, my center of my rows. Here's where my tool started and this is where um, we're going to start to make our tur turns. Um, as I gathered, like I said, I gathered as tight as I could make these gathers to get a really nice full rows. So um, just um, keep playing with it until you can get it as tight as you want it. Even though I sewed with the tool underneath the fabric, when I, go to, when I start my roll, I'm going to actually start rolling it with the tool um, on the top now. Even though I sewed it underneath, I'm going to start with the tool on the top. So um, what I did is I don't have any. I couldn't find my. Um, I couldn't find my black um, hand quilting thread, so I'm using a dark brown for the video. But you know it's okay. Nobody's going to see this thread anyway. So um, you want to go ahead and start your roll. So take your um, uh, uh, f uh, fabric end and then just keep rolling, because you want that center to be really nicely defined. So just keep rolling it. Okay, so once you've got that rolled where you like it, go ahead and take your thread. I got a knot in the end of this. And then I should have used a thinner needle. And then just do a couple stitches. The reason I don't like using um, glue on these um, big roses is because it's easier to sew, sew through um, to hook them to the tool and um, you can make adjustments as you need to um, in your rows. For So when you finish rolling your rows up and you're not happy with some of the petals on the rows itself, you can go in with um, your needle and um, tighten it up or or move it around to wherever you want. It's, um, it's your rows so uh, it just it just makes things easier because once you um, use that hot glue, the hot glue is much faster, but it doesn't give you the um, ability to uh, change a lot of things if you want to. So just keep rolling it. And every once in a while, take a couple um, um, stitches just so you can hold your rows in place. Because then at the end, we'll go through the whole thing but you just want to uh, make sure that it stays together. And keep rolling. And if you don't want to deal with all these um, frayed edges, just um, zigzag your uh, top and bottom of your um, fabric so you don't have to deal with it. Okay, let me just I wrap my thread inside the rows. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and cut those tails off now because I don't need them anymore. Tail down. Bring that around and secure the end of that tail.
Okay, before I do any more stitches, I want to um, show you what I mean by securing your rows. See how I didn't do any stitches there? I can take this piece of thread now and go up through that slot, and I can take a knot here, go up into the actual petal itself, come back around, go back where I want it exactly to be, and I can secure it that way. Okay, so that that's that's the way you can uh, um, uh, take your rows and change it up any way you want to. It looks like I have tulle in the center there, but I think it's because of the fabric. The center it just happened to have that uh, um, uh, fabric design in the center of that rose, and that's why it's not very well defined. But anyway, see how I've got this um, up a little bit where I really think it's a little bit too high? I can take my scissors now and then I can just do a design on here to trim it down or I can make it straight. You know, there's just anything you can do on these things. You can do anything you want. Um, they're just so simple to make and they're so pretty. So um, basically that's um, your rows. So I can tighten it up some more, I can go through on each side to secure it, or I can be happy with it and take it right over here and take my, go into my center, which I just messed up. So let me go ahead and take one of these. I just lost the string on that one. But anyway, you're going to want to secure that with some more stitches. Come up here, put your rows here. And go in the center of your rows. And so on. Of course, I'm doing this um, fast, so for recording purposes, I wouldn't be doing it this sloppy. Okay. All right, so once I've got that on there and I like the way it is, I've secured my rows to the center, I'm just going to take my two pins and I'm going to um, sew on this bar pin. And then now I'm going to have a matching, um, a matching rose uh, to put um, on the back of uh, Kyla's uh, dress. And that's going to be... Let me just pin it on for now so you can see what it looks like. So there's that. And there's the front. Of course, you're not going to see all these strings. So that is um, front and back of Kyla's outfit. Okay, so basically that's it. I'm going to secure these strings and re sew this on uh, a little bit tighter and it's a done deal and that's uh, the uh, barrette for this outfit that Kyla's wearing. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Have a good one.